Morning, welcome back. That was Ahad Ali with Headline News. You are watching Breakfast at Dawn. Now, with me next is a 20-year-old boy who's studying computer sciences in the University of Central Punjab. So, what's the big deal? Well, let me tell you some more. He started experimenting with his inventions. He invents people in 2009, and he's come up with various inventions, and we're going to be taking a look at some of them. His father works with the um, Saudi Arabian Electric uh, Company. Um, he's got a younger sister, and he's doing fabulous stuff. He is someone we can bet on. Who to bet on next is a segment. Let's have a look. Muhammad Bakar Qureshi had done FSc in pre-engineering and these days he is a student of Bachelor of Computer Sciences. The 20-year-old guy with a distinctive mind has already got three inventions in the field of information technology under his belt. If you are tired of using computer mouse, there is no need to worry as Bakar has invented a non-touch interface system. It consists of a glove equipped with fully software and hardware applications attached with a pen which can be used to operate all the computer functions including typing without touching your computer. This is the first time that you touch with the computer without touching the computer. You are interacting with the water in the water. If there is a patient who is sitting on the bed, he has to use the operating system, he has to use the door, and he can't move, he can't move, so you can operate the operating system from the door. The second device is a head tracking system. By wearing this device on one's head, the cursor on the monitor moves with the movement of the head. The gadget is incomplete without the video goggles as they are not attached to this tool because he can't afford them as they are too expensive. Video goggles are only added and after that, this is my virtual reality system. Virtual reality system, which was shown in the Matrix film, you will feel that if you are playing a game in the computer system, if you are playing a game, then you will feel that you are inside the game. Last but not the least, Bakar has also developed a software which can switch on or off all electric appliances through a computer without any physical movement. This was my personal project. I didn't have so much budget and I left my requirements too. So I'm simply operating on 8 devices. But this is a 255 device which can work on the parallel port of the maximum range. Conversion of one's thoughts into occurrence has always been a dream and these days Bakar is working to convert this dream into a reality. The system on which he is working is known as Brain Interface System. Intelligent students like Bakar are an asset for the country. If facilities and ample opportunities are provided to such talented brains, they can contribute a lot to the country's development. Umar Farooq, Dawn News, Lahore. Very honored to have the gentleman himself in the studio with us, Vakar. Thank you so much for joining us. You are amazing, absolutely. Thank and you. I love how you take just simple stuff. That was a, a hanger, I think, that you exactly. used. Exactly. Oh my gosh! I just take a hanger and hang clothes on it. How did you think <laughs> of, of of making that with it? Actually, I, uh, the idea has just come to me. I, I see stuff, and uh, I don't have a huge budget, so I uh, know I'm gonna. I have to make. It work with this material and okay, I just can you come out. to my house please move in talk to my children zara pe zara sir bhi zara haath pherein ke beta zara padhai kare aap thoda sa matlab computer ke samne aap is tarah kar sakte hain you know um now i know that a lot of um your, your mother is very unwell she's she's got cancer and that is part of is that part of the motivation why you exactly that was the uh, the basic motivation was to make her feel happy to make her feel proud and uh, uh, that's when i started working hard before that i wasn't a good student. I wasn't uh, good at studies as well. What uh, the only thing you did on the computer was what chatting at that time? Uh, no, I don't <laughs> chat. I don't chat. I played games and I watched movies mo mostly. Okay. Uh, but after she got cancer and um, I got uh, things got a little serious, uh, so I took studies seriously, and uh, I chose uh, the subjects which I loved. Right. And uh, it all. Kind that is of the secret, isn't it? To choose the stuff that you love exactly. and then just follow that through. Exactly. Okay, um, so what's happening now? I mean, you're clearly a genius. I mean, mashallah, you have done incredible things with, with, with the limited resources that you have. Yes. Has anyone come to you, any electronic companies, that you please join our team, we don't have any problems with you, is there anything like that? Not exactly. Uh, they li they've liked my work ah. and uh, they've offered me some stuff. 
uh, but not actually uh, in in a sense they don't want to uh, you know, have you have patented your inventions so that is the biggest uh, thing to I'm patent them uh, it's in the process okay because i mean i remember there was another student in another university who invented uh, i forgot now if i had the story correctly the first uh, either solar powered car ya aisa kuch unne kiya tha and someone else took the credit cuz they didn't patent it in time so please get your patenting done yes. immediately mm. yeah uh, it was done in pakistan by a pakistani student and we That's never got right. credit for it yes mm. he's he's nodding yeah yeah okay so there we go <laughs> <laughs> okay bakar so what's the next step and this thing that you're doing this this you're you're trying to invent something where you can read the uh, brain waves and <coughs> Uh, you're talking about the one we saw there. Yes. Uh, that is actually a head tracking system, uh, and slash you can say uh, virtual reality system. Uh, okay. It's a concept where you can actually uh, enter the computer system. Uh, like if you're playing a game, you will feel like like you're in the game. If you move your, if you turn your head, you'll you feel like you're in the uh, in that scenario, and you are in the game, and you just uh, totally realistic. Wow! And uh, the original system cost like twenty eight, twenty seven lakh dollars, and I converted that system to like twenty to thirty thousand rupees, and uh, wow. it's totally working. I just like uh, I don't have the finances to complete the uh, project, but uh, uh, the theory, theoretical work, and the basis are totally complete. And the second thing is the head, tra head tracking system. You can operate your system just by looking. Uh, mm, by moving your head, you can uh, um, operate your cursor, and uh, you can operate it. Uh, operate your operating system. Oh my gosh! Absolute brilliance here in the studio with R.J. Fiza and Bakar Qureshi, who is in the house with us. Bakar is this brilliant genius who invents stuff. I, I, I can't even put my mind around how he even got to thinking about all these things. It's, it's fantastic stuff. We're going to take a very short break. When we come back, we're going to cont continue our conversations with them. Uh, there's a short demo of Bakar's uh, inventions that we want to show you as well. There we go, Bakar. Come on. Morning, welcome back. You're watching Breakfast at Dawn. We've got the brilliant Bakar. Bakar, you can give us a de demo now, live, so people actually believe that you really do what you do. Yeah, exactly. Uh, way to look. Uh, just yeah, that, that's your camera there. Actually, uh, this, uh, this is the glove I've designed. Uh, this is the hardware portion I've designed, and uh, it works uh, with the software. There's a software portion uh, which actually acts as a driver for this device. Uh, uh, this glove. Uh, with this glove, you can use your operating system without even touching uh, a mouse, a keyboard, on, or not. E you don't even have to touch a touch screen. You can do it in the air, just like this. Just like. Wow! Mouse. Look at that. That is amazing. That is amazing. And you know, the one question I asked, I said, "Well, that's a laptop." For heaven's sake, the laptop you keep in your lap. Why would you need that? And, and you laughed just like that. And, and your response <laughs> was. <laughs> it can yes. work with a desktop. It can work, it with, can work with any uh, computer system. In fact, it can work with Pentium 3. It can work with Pentium 4, and it's uh, it doesn't require any VGA stuff. And uh, it's really uh, it's the latest technology, and it's really cost effective. Like if you uh, the cost of a touchscreen computer is like more 
more than four to five lakhs. Yes. Uh, but this device is only uh, four to five thousand. So can we say Steve Jobs had better retire because now we've got Bagal Qureshi coming into the into the arena now? Inshallah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Or maybe perhaps Steve Jobs is to you know sort of come in and give you some money and say please come join my team. I Someone wish. please let Steve Jobs know Bakar Qureshi is here in Pakistan. Yeah. All right. Amazing. Well done. Thank you. So now where your, your, your brain tracking device that you were talking about? Uh, the, um, I'm also working on a system called the BCI, Brain Computer Interface. Uh, it, by, uh, the purpose of this system is that you don't even have to, uh, you don't have to move a single finger. You just have to think of it and that will happen. You can control your environment, you can operate your operating system just by thinking. You will think that type this stuff and that stuff will be typed. And if you want to uh, listen to a song, automatically that song will be played. And uh, if you s go to sleep, you have a dream. And the next day you wake up and you can r uh, see your dream in a recorded pattern. No way. This is what I'm working on. That's just amazing. That is amazing. That could put people like you and me out of work, by the way, because then people don't have to open their mouths. They just have to sit there, just close their there, eyes, think, exactly. and let the computer do everything do else. But no, you should but be banned. Wow. We are banning you. <laughs> 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 okay, I've got some good news for you, by the way. Jahanara has tweeted in. Um, Faraz uh, from New Jersey said, from all the way from New Jersey, Jersey I salute your guest, Bakar. People like him should be appreciated and supported by all of us. Jahanara is saying, please send me his email address so I can connect with him right away. And uh, she says that she's got something for you. Uh, there's an incubation effort taking place in Punjab, and she can connect you to them. So uh, that's something that has happened right here in the breakfast show for you. I will give you Janara's, uh, actually, I'll take your email address and send it to her, and hopefully you guys will connect, and yes, we'll see you going incredible places after that. Congratulations, Vakar. Mm -hmm. This is really so. I've, I've got goosebumps. I mean, just mm -hmm. thinking that right in the right here, things are sort of coming through, and people are offering, uh, uh, making you offers right here on the show. I hope it really works out, and keep up your, your brilliant, brilliant work. Last question from you. Is your mother proud of you? I think she is. I think she is. <laughs> good, good. I and mean, she should be. She has every right to be. Um, and uh, of course, we wish all of you all, all the very, very best. I just want to say a few words. Sorry to please cut do, you. Uh, do. I just want to thank my parents for always believing me and letting me uh, experiment all the time from my childhood. And specifically, my teachers, uh, Sir Shabazz, uh, he taught me programming and uh, specifically. Sir Ayu Khan, he taught me how to work with projects and how to handle projects. Right. And Were you that kid who broke a lot of stuff and then tried to fix it again? Mm, no, actually I broke it and I made something. New uh, out of it. Yeah, exactly. That's what I... God, if you'd been my kid, I'd have probably strangled you by now, but all right, okay. But <laughs> it's, it's clearly that's why God didn't give you as my child, but all mm. right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, time for us. He's laughing. He just thinks we're all, we're all crazy here. It's time for us to take a very short break and we get back in conversation with Fiza and Bakar. And if you have any questions for either of them, tweet them in now. I'm on Twitter. That's A-Y-E-S-H-A-H-A-L-A-M. I'm into chat. And um, you're watching...